Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Carol the Diva. Since I have my hair nice and straight, I decided to go ahead and give it a really cute style with some clippings I have. So that's what I'm about to do. The clippings I'm using today are from this company called Curls and I've worked with them before and I like the hair I used. So I'm going to try these today and see how well I like them. They come with these extra clips just in case I want to add any more to the clippings I have or if I lose any of them all of it I guess I could reattach them. This is what the extensions look like straight out of the bag and you know I don't like the way they're looking so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and blow them out so they could look better. So I'm just gonna set the clippings aside and go ahead and style my hair how I want it before I start adding anything in it. I'm taking out a section in the front and while I'm parting it, I'm adding some jam to the root just so my parting will look so much better. Now that I got my section out, I'm going to twist it and clip it away as I work on the back. Now for the back or for the rest of my hair, I'm going to use a hair tie and hold it in place exactly where I want it but not too tight because I'm going to add some gel to it before I get it tighter. Now I'm using some gel of my choice and I chose to use jam. I never use gel on my hair when I blow it out. I always use jam because the gel is not going to work the same as the jam for me. So yeah, I usually use jam when I blow my hair out. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure it much tighter with my hair tie. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay my edges because you know, the edges go make your hair look like you really put some hard work into it when in reality, it's something so simple. Now that ponytail I have sticking out at the back, I'm going to braid it just so I could have something to hold my clippings onto. I'm also using a rubber band to hold the end of it so it doesn't unravel. And now for the clippings, I'm going to blow them out just to get them nice and straight and doing it before putting it in my hair is much easier. So that's what I'm doing. So these short pieces I'm showing you, they all have two clips on them. I'm going to save these for the front of my hair. This one is the next size up from them. It has three clips on it, so I'm going to start off with it. The focus on my camera is going in and out. My camera does that, and I honestly don't know why. I think the background might be too close to me. But anyway, what I'm doing here is clipping the clip-ins onto the end of my ponytail, and then I'm wrapping it, and then to secure it, I clip it on again, and that's it. And that's what it looks like. It is so easy, guys. Like so easy anybody could do this now i'm gonna go ahead and wrap a second one on just like i did the first one and i'm gonna keep doing it until i get all the way up to the root of my ponytail so as you can see i stick the comb from the clip in my hair then i snap it and then i go ahead and wrap it around my ponytail and the last comb that's on the clipping i stick it in my hair again and then i snap it close and this is how i secure it onto my hair i'm gonna go ahead and add my third piece and like i said before i'm gonna keep adding them until i reach the root of my ponytail and i feel like i have enough hair then i'll stop this is how i open the clips on the clippings you guys it's so easy i just push on the middle of the back of it and that will open it and you'll hear a snap when you open it and also when you're closing it you just push it the opposite way and you'll hear the snap again and you'll know it's closed now that i added enough here to my ponytail i'm gonna go ahead and take a small section out and i'm gonna wrap it around the root of my ponytail just to make it look more natural and cover the tracks Okay 
to hold it in place i'm gonna use my got to be glue free spray instead of using pins because it's the worst thing when you're wearing ponytail and those pins are sticking you in the center of your head oh my gosh i cannot take it now that i'm all done with the back i'm gonna go ahead and style the front look at the length of my hair oh my goodness i'm loving it but i still want it to grow some more <laughs> So since it was all wrapped up and I wanted to blend nicely with the clipping here, I'm just going to blow it out real quick before I start adding them in. I'm making my parting slanted because I want the hair to fall a certain way, like down in my face. I know the size of this clipping looks big and it's basically touching my forehead but that's exactly how I want it because I want it to be over my forehead as much as I can get it. So here I go with the second one and this one will definitely cover the first one. Can you see it guys? It falls exactly where I wanted it. And now the third piece will definitely fall exactly where I want it to cover the first and the second one. It's all about layering guys and it's all about trusting the process. And this is how I do my little, you know, sweep, side, bang, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and comb it up into my ponytail like a boss. Then I'm going to use some bobby pin to secure it. So as I brushed it up into my ponytail, I'm using the bobby pins to secure it in the back under my ponytail. So my ponytail will definitely be hiding the pin. I actually use a bunch of pins. I think I use about six or seven because I wanted to make sure it was securely in place. And then, I don't know, it was just a wild thought to put this clip right here. Some people may say it's childish, but I don't care. I like it. I think it's cute. This is the final look, you guys. I went ahead and did my makeup, of course, and I am so in love with this look. I know this one of the pin in the back is showing, but it's not a big deal. So we just gonna pretend it's not showing for now. <laughs> it's so full and bouncy and I didn't even use all the hair that came in the pack. So yes, guys, if you're gonna buy yourself some clippings, make sure you only get one pack. It doesn't matter if you're gonna get a ponytail or you're just gonna clip them in your hair. Other ways, you only need one pack. So the length of the hair is 18 inches just in case you guys are interested and the texture is amazing and this is my second time like I said working with them and they did not disappoint again. Here I have a discount code for you guys just in case you're interested if you purchase from this company you will definitely save yourself some money. I will also leave the discount code down in the description box so please check that out. I want to say a big thank you to Curls for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love the clippings. The texture is amazing. I just love how well it blends with my own natural hair and how easy it was to install. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time on my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.